So today I want to show you a bit the new meta module from 4MS which can load modules from VCVREC and can load also patches from VCVREC. So you can build patches in VCV, you can map them in all sorts of ways, assign the controls, assign the inputs and outputs, and then load them into the meta module and use them in your um, hardware setup, which is quite, quite amazing. And um, this video will be a sort of a first impression sort of video. And there will be a whole series of videos about this meta module. So if you're interested in seeing anything specific or if you have any questions, please let me know and I will see what I can do in the next videos. So again, there are quite a lot of modules already available for MS, Befaco, Hetrick, CV, Valley, um, Bog Audio Count Modular, even Geodesics, right? Even the beautiful collection of the Geodesics module is available, Dark Energy, Entropia. So again, you can load the modules, you can build patches inside the meta module, or you can build patches inside of VCV uh, rec and then load them into the meta module and then map things and control things with the uh, knobs here. And we have also six inputs, two gate inputs and eight outputs, CV and audio. So you can patch things in your modular system. So in my opinion, really the strength of this module, of the meta module, is not necessarily building full-on patches um, like you would do in VCV Rec and then uploading them to the module and let them play. But it's actually um, to use it as a sort of a companion to, do, to your modular setup, if you will, um, enhancing your setup um, with all sorts of interesting modules that are available in VCV Rec, available in software, because in software you can do all sorts of things. And you can even load just one module and use it like I'm doing here. I'm uh, using here Entropia from the Geodesics, which is a beautiful, beautiful sequencer um, that you don't get so much in hardware. Again, in software, you can do all sorts of different things. So you can also just load um, individual modules into it um, like a sequencer. You can save the settings and the setup of the sequencer as a patch. And then you just load the patch and you have the sequencer set up, right? In this case, I'm using it with a whole patch that I have here with my system. As you can see, I have other voices also. And the voltage from the meta module goes into all sorts of different places. So let me really show you this. I have here two inputs. One is the clock. One is the reset. So I can sync everything with my system. And I have here the CV output from the sequencer going out. This is going here to a quantizer that I have here, uh, the Bart Quartet, sequencing the Kruin oscillator from Instru. I have it going through the Ikari filter. Right, so I can really combine the software with the meta module, with the hardware. I have here an envelope controlling the filter. I have a whole patch going on. Right, so let me show you also how this really sounds like. If I go here, let me bring in this voice. This is... Right, this is now the sequence. Entropia is already running. Right, um, it's a bit hard to see if you look here on the screen, also when you patch things, also when you want to control things. But for this, we have here the knob view, right? And you can see that I have here things mapped. Also, we can look at the jacks. Here there is the jacks view. And you can see I have gate one, entropia clock, gate two, entropia reset, which is what I have here, entropia CV from the first output. And then again, if we go to the controls, I have here the blue steps. If you are familiar with Entropia in VCV, like you will know what I'm talking about. And um, But basically we have two sequences that we can crossfade between and add also probability to crossfade or to jump between the different sequences, right? So I can change if I go here to the probability, right? And now I will listen. We will listen only to the blue steps, right? I can change the steps. Right, and then I can change the, I have the first eight controls here mapped to the steps. Right, and then I can go to the probability page. There are a few pages here that you can map. Right, we have the blue steps, the yellow steps, and now the probability. And now I can switch all the way. This is now just the other sequence, the so-called yellow sequence, that again, I can change by itself, right?
And now if I go again to the probability, and all of this I did in VCVREC, it took me exactly five minutes. This is now just one sequence, and the other sequence, and then again I can set probability between them. To get a sequence full of movement. Right, and again I have here I have here an envelope controlling the filter. I have here, I hope you can see this. It's here the voltage block. Again, everything is running with the same clock, so everything is in sync. It's modulating the envelope. So I can build a whole patch, a whole patch around this. Right, and use the meta module as an interesting sequencer, even with just one module loaded. And I can add more voices. Right, a nice bass. Here I have another example with three sequences. So I have a whole sequencing patch set up here. So again, I think the strength here is not really building patches that will play all by themselves, but to build sorts of um, companion patches to your modular system. So here I have three sequences. I have here a Euclidean sequencer, all from count module. I have here a burst generator, and I have here another, it's called the binary sequencer, also a unique sequencer from count modular. Right, and again, you can see I have three sequences and I'm using just 21% of CPU, so I can add even more if I want. And if I go again here to the different jacks, right, you can see I have everything mapped. Also this one I built in VCVREC and I mapped everything, right, clock inputs, trigger inputs for the, sequence, for the burst generator, and I have all sorts of different outputs here that again, I'm using across my system here to trigger different voices, to bring in and out effects, and so on. Right, so again, let me show you here how this works. If I go again to the, um, to the knobs here, the first page here is the Euclidean sequencer. Right, so if I start this, this is the voice that I have, basically the make noise STO going through a low pass gate. Right, and now I hope you can see this, I can change the length of the sequence and I can change the number of hits. Again, this is a Euclidean sequencer. And I can also shift this and of course you can also map other parameters that you would like. You can add CV modulation to this. Right, so now I can change the sequence. Right, and again, I have also the binary sequencer. Let me show you this. By the way, with the Euclidean sequencer, I also have here, if I show you this on the jacks, Opalach, I also have the end of cycle output also mapped, and I have it here going to Rampage, so I can add sorts of... Uh, Right, when the cycle ends, I can add sort of an accent. So again, it's really interesting, really inspiring just to patch things with modules that you use usually also in VCVREC. So let's sh let me show you now the binary sequence, uh, right? Again, it's really quickly just to go through the different pages here. I have here the binary sequence. Uh, this is sequencing another voice. Right, and again, I can change the sequence. The binary sequencer is working with clock divisions that are being mixed into a pitch sequence. Again, interesting ideas in software that now you have also in hardware. Right, and you can create all sorts of interesting sequences. And of course, there is also as I showed you before, I have also a burst generator that will generate a burst of triggers. I can add jitter to them, I can add probability to them. Right, and again, everything is mapped here. I am 
through VCVREC and I can use it through my system. I have here the voltage block triggering the burst generator, which will bring in another voice. Right, and I can use less triggers. Right, add some probability to them so they will not always play. And like this, build the whole sequencing system. Again, these are just three sequences, I mean 23%. I can add more sequences, modulation, modulating the sequences inside the patch. I want to quickly show you how we can build patches inside the module itself. Um, it's not the best experience, but of course we can build patches also in VCV. I can transfer them quite easily to the module. Um, in the next uh, videos, I will show you also how this works. We will build a few patches. If there is something, again, interesting you want to see, let me know. But basically, we start a new patch. And then here we have all the different uh, modules that are available at the moment. Uh, I'm pretty sure there will be more available in the future. So let's say we want, for example, to take the Befaco uh, VCO, right, this one here, and then we want to patch this maybe into a VCA, let's say, also from Befaco. Let's go with the ABC, right, the A times B uh, module from also from Befaco. Right, so we can go, for example, to the even VCO, and now I can either map things manually or I can go... Um, to the options here and auto map things right and uh, now everything is mapped again if i go to this uh, knob view right you can see here I, we have things mapped for us if i go to the jacks right we have pitch one pitch two and all sorts of different things of course we can also change this and now let's say that i want to map things um, i want to connect things myself so let's say for example i want the let's say the triangle output, right, to go, let's disconnect it from the output here, and now new cable, right, and now I can start patching, and now I go to the A times B module, and now I can say, okay, to which jack I want this to go, right, and now I made this connection, maybe you can see the cable going here, the same also with the outputs, if I go to the A times B, let's say that I want a jack, let's say the output one i want to connect this to the output on the module so i go to new panel cable right and i can select the output and then when i hit connect now it's connected to this output on the um, on the module itself and i can patch it to the uh, other modules in my um, case right so it's not the most fun experience again if you have just a few modules that works really nicely and um, but again most of the patching you will do in vcvrec um, and this we will have a look at in the next videos. And of course, just like we can build sequencing setups, we can also build processing chains and process your external signals from your case um, in the meta module. So again, also here I built a patch. I have here the 4MS uh, dual looping delay, right? It's going through plateau, which is the reverb from Valley, of course. I have everything going first through a um, filter bank from Bog Audio, right? I have here six bands that I can bring the voice in and out and, and filter the different bands. And everything is going through a filter, a stereo filter, also from Valley called Feline and which has also some drive to it so we can also distort things so i have here quite the chain again a filter bank reverb delay and a filter and i'm using just 54 percent of the cpu so i can add even more and again i have here things that um, mapped the jacks i have here modulation for the reverse of the dual looping delay and um, right i have also the the controls, maybe if I go first to the PEC-6, the PEC-6 is the filter bank, right? And like this, I can bring in the different bands. Right, it has six of them. Right, and of course I can add modulation if I want. 
But like this, I can choose and play which of the filter, which of the bands I want to come in or out. Right, and again, this is going then to the dual looping delay, so I can add some mix. Also the reverse, as we've seen before, I have it mapped and I'm modulating the reverse, so sometimes it will go in reverse. Right, and then I can change the time, I can change the feedback. And then this is going through a reverb, and then after everything it goes, it goes through a filter. Right, with some drive. And I can add a reverb. Add decay, change the size. filter everything. So I have a whole processing chain, filter bank, delay, reverb, and another filter with distortion. And the voice itself is coming from the case, right? It's not from the meta module. Again, I think the strength here is not building full-on patches, but it's sort of building focused patches that can enhance your system, like sequencing patch, or in this case, processing. And of course, another thing you can explore is having complex voices in meta and then sequence them and process them in your system. Here, for example, I have one of my favorite oscillators in VCV rack, the FM operator. Actually, I have five of them. Um, I have two pairs that are FM voices and then another one that is a sort of a standalone um, voice. I'm mixing them, I have them panned, I have, I can change their octaves, right? I can change their relationships. If I start this, I have them sequenced here, by the way, from this octone. Octone sequencer, again, for my case, also processing them here with magneto. Right, and again, I can go to the to the knobs here and I can change the octaves, I can change the modulation. Right, you can see here this is pen to the left. Pen to the right, I can change the octaves. So I have a complex voice, I can also change the envelopes. Right, and create like this a complex voice that I can have, then have running in meta, I can sequence. For my system. Right, and play the complex voices in meta with my system and again also process everything uh, so again i think that the strength of meta is not necessarily building full-on patches and having them in hardware but more and um, at least from the first impression that i got more of building like setups sequencing setups voices setups processing setups and then enhance the system you already have if you are already using VCV Rec and you have a hardware setup, I think this is this can only enhance your experience, um, especially if you're already familiar with VCV Rec. Um, but even if not, VCV Rec is free, so you can always experiment with it. You can learn the modules and see what modules you want. Um, again, there are many modules already available, as we've seen before. Right, all sorts of uh, different interesting modules that you can already use. I'm sure there will be also more added in the future and um, but this was it for today again there will be a whole series of videos please let me know what you uh, would uh, you would like to see what you will think will be interesting and also if you have any questions um thank you again cheers